The Art of Being Normal is Lisa Williamson's 2018 novel about two transgender students, Leo Denton and David Piper. On Leo's first day at his new school, he has one goal, to keep his head low and not draw any attention to himself. Catching the eye of the most beautiful girl in the class is definitely not part of Leo's plan, particularly because he is a transgender male and is not out at his new school. When Leo stands up for a classmate, David, in a fight, the two become fast friends. David is a transgender girl who has not come out either. With Leo's support, David prepares to transition and come out as Kate. An uplifting story of two transgender teens trying to live a truth that has been a secret for too long. The Art of Being Normal takes a thought-provoking look at gender identity and what it means to be transgender. The novel opens as 14-year-old David Piper recollects when he was 8 years old and was asked to write about what he wished to be when he grew up. He remembers writing, I want to be a girl. Since then, David has hidden this desire from the world and struggled with his identity. He wishes to come out as a transgender girl and be called Kate. Although he has caring middle-class parents who seem to suspect that something is going on with their son, David imagines the pain and disappointment his confession will bring them and cannot bring himself to reveal his secret to them. We learn that life for David at Eden Park School is tough. Besides his best friends Essie and Felix, David's fellow classmates see him as an easy target for bullying and have nicknamed him, Freak Show. He is also in love with the most popular boy in school. David suffers in his isolation and quiet desperation, having told his secret only to his best friends. He doesn't feel they can completely understand him, however, and he feels particularly isolated from them as they have just become a couple. As his body transforms with puberty, David gets further away from the petite, feminine frame he desires. The rising testosterone in his body elongates his figure and causes his feet to become large and unattractive. Despite Felix's encouragement that Kate Winslet wears size 9 shoes, David obsessively measures himself, distraught at the appearance of stubble on his chin. He wishes he had the curves of his mother. During the moments he is left alone in his house, David dresses up as a girl and uses his mother's makeup, only to wipe it off and feel uncomfortable in his own skin once more. He reflects on the fact that he has never had a girlfriend or boyfriend, never been kissed, and never even held hands with someone. We then meet Leo Denton, who has recently transferred to Eden Park. Leo's background is a challenging one. His family has little money, and Leo has received little emotional support. Abandoned by his father at an early age and neglected by his mother, Leo prefers to keep to himself and hide behind his reputation as a tough kid who you wouldn't want to mess with. Leo's goal at his new school is to stay invisible. He hopes to do well in school, go to college, and escape from his miserable life. At first, Leo rebuffs David's attempts to be friendly. When Leo sees David getting picked on, however, Leo stands up for him. This incident forces David and Leo to spend detention together. While in detention, they begin to form a friendship. As the two become closer, David and Leo's narratives alternate in the first-person point of view. We eventually come to learn that Leo himself is also transgender. Originally named Megan by his mother, Leo began identifying as a male from an early age. When David learns of this, he feels he can be open with Leo and learn more about being transgender from him. Despite having found each other, David and Leo's lives are still hard, and they constantly fear being outed. By transferring to Eden Park, Leo hopes to start fresh. Since no one is aware that he has transitioned, no one will question his masculinity. We learn that Leo left his old school because some of his fellow classmates still thought of him as female and bullied him for transitioning. They lured Leo into the woods and slashed his clothes. Leo's plan to stay under the radar at Eden Park succeeds until he falls for Alicia, the most popular girl in school. Alicia likes Leo too and pursues him, but when he tells her he is transgender, she abruptly stops. Her friends spread Leo's secret all over the school, where transphobia becomes widespread. David decides to debut himself as Kate, and as part of her first public outing, Kate and Leo embark on a trip to locate Leo's absentee father. The two end up getting drunk in a pub, where Kate expresses feeling overjoyed at wearing the right clothes, and Leo does karaoke, albeit terribly. Williamson makes clear for the reader that life does not end for Leo after he is outed. His classmates' reactions to his secret do not define who he is or affect his entire life. 
While Leo and David's transgender identities are important, the two must also navigate other events in their lives. Providing a balanced look at the issues transgender teens must deal with, Williamson portrays two characters who battle prejudice, coming out, and other significant concerns of life but also know how to laugh and have a good time. In her portrayal of these two transgender teens, Williamson raises big questions about what it means to be normal. Normal, Leo concludes, is such a stupid word. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.